streaming, and on the KUTV app. This is KUTV 2 News at 5. The family spokesman for Eric Richens is responding to allegations and rumors surrounding his character and his wife. Thanks for joining us on 2 News at 5. I'm Jamie McGriff. And I'm Heidi Hatch. This all comes just days after a letter was found in Corey Richens' jail cell. The Camus child book author accused of killing her husband is claiming to be working on a second book. Amanda Gilbert live tonight with an update now from Eric's family. Amanda. Yeah, guys, there's been a lot of talk this week surrounding Corey Richens and her mom. So I reached out to Greg Scordis. He's the spokesperson for Eric Richens side of the family. How has the family been doing? I mean, this case just takes a weird turn every month. There has been nonstop media attention to the Utah case involving husband and wife Eric and Corey Richens. Corey's accused of killing her husband and then writing a children's book about grief. The Richens family still wants to maintain their privacy, wants to maintain uh, their integrity and the integrity of the case and are really not trying to try this case in the public as others are and uh, sort of wish to maintain their, their privacy at this point. The latest update, we told you letters were found in Corey's cell that involved possible witness tampering. Corey later reportedly said in a phone call to her mom, these letters were quote, a part of a freaking book. I was writing this fictional mystery book. Eric's family's response. Do they have anything to say about Corey possibly writing a second book? Under Utah law, and we call it a slayer statute, a, an individual cannot profit from their criminal activity. So if it's later proven that Corey committed this crime, and we believe it will be at some point, any proceeds from that would certainly go to the benefit of the children. There's been other rumors circulating in the media about Eric's character. Eric was a good man. He was not a drug addict. He was not a wife abuser. He was not any of the things that are currently being said about him. What are their next steps? You know, the Richens family is really just concerned about their um, privacy, about the well-being of the boys. And we have reported that Corey Richens' defense attorney did share a statement with us. It said in part, quote, that the states uh, that we dispute the state's characterizations and anticipate filing further briefings on this issue. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV 2 News. Amanda, thank you. And we've been covering the Richens cases since the beginning, and you can catch up on all of our previous reports on our website, KUTV.com.